Okay. Because I'm running a little bit behind, I'm going to go ahead and say we should start now. Which means we're going to go back into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. For a recap, for those who weren't here when I was here last time, um, we're on the run from everybody because they think we're the reason that the world is going to end. And they're hunting us down to kill us. So that's not a good thing, and we're going to try our best to survive and not do that. The dying thing. So with that on our minds, we're going to pop right into it. We're in big old frosty location. And like it says on the tin, we're going to go fight Articuno technically again. Because last time didn't work so well. Even though I'm a fire type and you'd think that I should be able to like... Do this no problem. That's not how it works all the time. Uh huh. So, of course, while we're down here, we're trying to replenish our items because we died. So we don't have as much as we want in here. But I'm just going to go ahead because I picked the right one. And you can tell that I should have, like, type advantage here, but it's hard when... Your partner Pokemon... ...isn't... ...like... ...the strongest option. Or when you got used to uh, updated materials, because that's what happened to me. Is that I got used to updated materials. And now I'm, like, waiting for the ability to, like, give my partner orange berries instead of just having to only eat them myself, etc. Like, I cannot feed my friend here gummies, which would be useful for stat growth and stuff. Because I can't feed them to him. Which isn't... The best when you're trying your best to... Keep everybody alive. The funny thing about, uh... This is that I 100% had, um... had it in the first try if I had had another Reviver Seed. Which I don't remember why I had lost it, so I don't know. In the remake of this for the Switch, which I've talked about in the past, how I personally like some of the aspects and not others. Mm. 
will let you choose when to use reviver seeds. Which is... Honestly, very cool of them. Like, I don't want to use it on this random person who just joined my team because I was nearby and they needed some help. I'm really only trying to see if I can find any sort of items. Because if I can, then that's a huge boon for me. It, were, it would be nice to have a Keelion shop as well. Or a level up. That works for me. I do like that. Yep, yep. Duck! Welcome! We're on the run from everybody! <laughs> the only reason I was a little bit late starting, because I was a little bit late starting, is because I'm actually doing some minor updates do this as well. I like how it looks, but more changes are happening. <laughs> Golly. I, yeah. And we're on the run from literally everybody, and they're trying to execute us, so... Hi, Articuno. Yeah, yeah, you may try all you like me, each other. You said that last time. Alright, time to fight Articuno. Oh, I thought they refilled my health bar. Okay. Yeah, that w that would not be a goodness. <laughs> Here we are again. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep going, Julian. Oh, that's that's probably one of the features that I was talking about earlier. I'm used to the newer slash further along in the series games. In those games, your health bar gets refilled before the bosses. Your moves as well. So, like, the fact that I didn't n realize I didn't have... Uh, Still got a blast seed, which is nice. One orange berry, so I'll go ahead and give that to you, Julian, so you don't die. I've already leveled up once, but I'm not one hit killing these guys. Somebody give me flamethrower, please. <laughs> I want the two moves away move. Let me hit somebody at a distance. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna keep punching Articuno until Articuno falls, basically. Funny thing is, I got through the Moltres fight with no problem. Julian, why are you two levels above me? Is this because I can eat gummies and you can't? Doesn't really matter. Still. Hello, Matang. Yay, finally some one-hit kills. 
Really, all this is doing is making me harder to beat for the further along fights. What's fun about this is, um... This game actually acted as a teaser for one of the Pokemon in uh, Diamond and Pearl, which you then couldn't get until later anyway. And I'm talking about Lucario, which I think is interesting. Because I didn't realize he wasn't out, but on the back of the poster that I got for the red version of this, which is the GBA version, or the Game Boy Advanced version, there's a... There's a Lucario silhouette in it, which is fun and interesting. Because honestly, these ice floors never have items on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the type matchups are different, which threw me off for a little bit. Like, Beldum was not hit by, like, the super effective. Thank you, Julian, but you really didn't need to. I'm just gonna get hurt again. I wanted you to save that for the boss fight. Perhaps I should have given it to you at the boss fight. Let's... Get my health fully back up and my stats fully back up. Uh, and then we run back and forth a couple of times and then we run right directly to here. Now! Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Time to fight. We'll wait till you're closer for the that. So instead, we'll just go me. Come closer. Burn. And it missed. Yeesh. Fifty is too much on my my poor baby. I am only a little child. Yep, keep your focus on him. Now that he goes underground, you're weak. So I told you. Come on, boys, let's do it. One more round. Oh, all we had to do was survive. If only the powder snow had missed. I literally just have nothing on me <laughs> that's helpful anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if you could give me a Keleon shop. Or, you know, give me flamethrower so that I can hit it from two blocks away instead of one block away. <sighs> one day I'll have flamethrower. And also one day I'll be as high level as my partner who's two levels above me. I even did the dojo training. To try and get, like, more levels. But, like, right now I'm looking at, at it and all I got is a tank and me. <laughs> I'm not even good at glass cannoning yet. Luckily I know what floor it's on. Arctic Uno. Arctic Dos. I know it's Zapdos, but still, I think it's a funny thing to say. It's a Q 
keep picking up money in this dungeon, but nothing else. Ours now. I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. One of my favorite games. I wish they would recognize that a lot more people are fond of it. But I don't know if Game Freak ever will. Which is why the fan community is much better. Alright, floor two. Doesn't even have a special band or anything on him. He's just that strong. Metang. I did not hear that. But that's kind of like, okay, what does that exactly mean? Because in the case of like that in D and D, are you going with regularly mythologized figures like the ones whose books are published, like Drizzt? Or are you going with, like, people's everyday experiences? In which case, how do you determine, like, system settings and whatnot? Not that I don't find it cool. In fact, my brain is over here going... Oh, so it's the um, the facets of D and D that. Oh, that is sweet. Can't hit around corners. Yeah, now I'm level 21! Did I just get like one shot last time? Because if the powder snow move does like 50 damage and I just was like at 60, did I get one shot? I probably did. Alright, let's see. Speaking of like tabletop role playing games, there's one that I backed from a studio that I still really like. I have two of theirs. And it's, uh,. It's called Americana. <laughs> Secret power is not doing anything today. <laughs> hey, let's get you back to full health. That I kind of want to do with the group. That I'm playing D&D &D with the is Iron Duck. 
but I don't know how to set it up at the moment. I'd have to read through it again, but it's really good. Just don't... Nice burn. Is this it? Is this the run? Are, is everybody going to get to see why I love Absol now? Yes! 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 <laughs> Took me two level ups to do this and the AI of Articuno to go, I'm not going to do Powder Snow. <laughs> Please, Articuno. We have to keep moving. We have to get through this. Please let us pass. No! I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest's air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. Looks at the polar ice caps. Same. <laughs> this has never happened. Even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We don't have to anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Hey, Articuno, you have to listen. Wait a second. Oh, I got the sneezies. It's not our fault that the snow is melting here. It's not just here. Natural disasters are happening all over the place. Even if we hadn't come, the frigid air here would have been disturbed. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? <laughs> Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it. Uh, Absol! <laughs> there is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring ev in nature everywhere. Is... Is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. Look at the cool emo artwork for this guy. This is why I liked Absol. This is why Absol is one of my favorite Pokemon. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno! However! Eh! We must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Phew, that was too close. Thank you, you saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. They are unless if they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Ugh. I sensed the terrible power of the natural calamities, and was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Hmm? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. <laughs> Thank you, Absol. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop.
This guy already has a name for me, and it's always been Nightshade. And so, after getting through the Frosty Forest, Seven's team headed further north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. Yeah, let's save. The worst cutscene. <laughs> this icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Julian looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? <sighs> it's too cold. There's only snow around us now. The scenery hasn't changed at all for a while now. Are we even getting somewhere? Hey Seven, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're finally reached a place where there's no one else but us. I also have a feeling there's nothing ahead of us here. And I'm feeling pretty beat. You two, what's gonna happen to us? We'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. We came out here, there's no point in wondering about it. Sorry, Seven. I got to feeling sorry for myself. Seven, I came out here because I believed in you. And that's not changing. I'll keep believing in you, Seven. I'll go wherever you go. Partner Pokemon in this series takes the heartstrings and plays them like fiddles. Yes, Julian trusts me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. Uh, what? What was that? <laughs> Dizzy? Or what? Huh? What's the matter, Seven? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone... Someone is talking to me. Julian? No. This voice isn't Julian. This voice heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. <laughs> Gardevoir time. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir? I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're... what... <laughs> Once again, I'm inflicted with visions only I can see. Talking to yourself like that. <laughs> I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. <laughs> a little further ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Inside its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? <laughs> Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait. A sad Charmander. Hey, Seven! Come on, Seven! What were you doing? What just happened to you? Uh, you know how I told you I've been dreaming about Gardevoir? <laughs> oh, okay, so that's what happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. So that's why you were looking so stunned. <laughs> but wow, Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And nine that Ninetales is all the way at the peak up here. Seven, all the effort we put into getting here, it's finally gonna pay off. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally clear your reputation, Seven. It'll be great. Hey, Seven, you don't need to look so worried. It'll be okay. Seven, I can understand how it'd be scary for you to meet Ninetales. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. How that might be you. I bet you're scared thinking that. 
But that's impossible. You're not a human. You're not that human, I'm sure. You believe so much in me? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now... I wonder why. I don't really know why. But it doesn't matter now. Seven, you're a really good sort. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start this rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Seven. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. Just a feeling you called my name weird. I told you my name and you went, that's a weird name, and then you said your name was Julian, and I'm like... What? <laughs> Alright. Quick recap for Duck. Who has never seen Blue. Blue Rescue Team is the first blue and slash red rescue team is the first in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. And it stars you, a human turned into a Pokemon. You have weird reoccurring dreams that somebody's trying to talk to you. At first you can't figure out who it is. If you know your Pokemon lore, they'll show you a silhouette either in the third or fourth dream and you know it's Gardevoir. However, just around that time you learn about a legend that says... A human touched a nine tails' tail and was set to be cursed for a thousand years. Their partner Pokemon, a Gardevoir, jumped in front of them to take that curse. And nine tails, thinking, oh, this Pokemon loved this person so much, maybe I'll give them another chance. Would you like to. turns to find the human running away at top speed. Yeah. Um. Basically goes, well, they're going to be reborn as a Pokemon one day, and I'm going to be far away when that happens because they're still going to be a jerk. Along the way, we've been harassed by a team literally named Team Meanies, who is a evil rescue team trying to go for world domination. Its members are Medicham, Ekans, and Gengar. <laughs> Ye. <Yeah. laughs> the bad team, but literally named Team Meanies this time instead of Team Skull or anything else. Uh, basically, after hearing that, you, the player, go, Wait, what if that's me? Because I've been dreaming about Gardevoir. I'm pretty sure. And we go to the Hill of the Ancients, where Zatu, who stared at the sun all day, goes... Oh no, this. Th you think the calamities are bad now? It's gonna get worse, especially since the human who is cursed by Nine Tails is around, and it's their fault that the calamities are getting bad. But you'll never believe who followed us up there. Specifically, Gengar. So if you can't figure out the context clues, I'm not gonna spoil this next part. But basically, Gengar says, Yeah, guess what? Seven's a human to the town I bet she's the human who got cursed by nine tails and the town goes oh that's bad that's why the calamities are gonna get so bad and he goes you know the whole problem would probably go away if we killed her and literally everybody goes huh good idea and then I'm chased out of town Along the way, I get to Fire Mountain, fight Moltres. Yeah. The only team that believes me, but still has to hunt me down because of their honor-bound duty code is... I believe most people start to call them, like, Team Act, ACT, Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar. Uh... Because Alakazam can read my mind. And he goes, We do have to hunt you down, but you can say goodbye to your friends and we'll give you a head start. Uh, leave really, really early in the morning. And so we get chased to Moltres' lair. <laughs> uh, Alakazam might... Charizard was like threatening me a tiny little Charmander like 
What? Your can your fire melt boulders? And I'm looking at him like, bruh, I'm a Charmander. Eventually, I'm gonna look like you. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I'm actually kind of scared of just because of the type matchup is Tyranitar because I'm like, I am but a little fire baby. I'm going to get smashed if you earthquakes me. <laughs> but it really felt like he was going, So what, baby? Are you strong enough to fight me, a fully grown man? And I'm like, Square up, I bet. <laughs> Just you and me. <laughs> so, we got chased to Fire Mountain, ran into Moltres, who was like, Are you the reason that my Fire Mountain is causing- getting not as lava-y? My volcano should be near constantly erupting. I'm gonna fight you about it. We beat him and he went, Okay, just make sure this doesn't happen again. Like, go fix the calamities. Like, with Articuno. Yeah. We had to defeat Zapdos earlier because Shiftry got basically peer pressured into saving a jump pluff because he's a jerk who wants to get paid big bucks for his rescues. Woke up Zapdos, made Zapdos angry, we fight Zapdos. But that was like a prelude to this. We get chased to the woods. Because they're still after us, even at the Fire Mountain. And you just saw how the Articuno fight went. And who we gained as an ally. And now we're going up to Ninetales' room. I do not remember there being a boss fight here, but I would not put it past them. Anyway. This is kind of weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Seven. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Yeah. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure Team Meanies also shows up here at the end confrontation. So it's Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar, and Team Meanies, and us, and Ninetales. And Ninetales is going to go straight up. Yeah, that's not the human who got cursed by me. Turns and points at Gengar. That's the human that got cursed by me. And everybody turns to so look at Gengar like, bruh. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> and then we go back to town and they expect us to just like forgive them just like that. The funny thing about this for me is that Wigglytuff just completely vanished like right before the confrontation. Like Wigglytuff went, no, I'm not going to be a part of that. Yeah. That's a simple breakdown of the first part of the story. Uh, I believe I'm actually going to have to fight Groudon and Apple Time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Went, I'm Audi 5000 to the Apple Forest. I'm not going to chase my friends away. Why would I do that? I'm friend friend. Friendly friends. Yep. Alright, let's give it our best shot. I think I can get my storage. Alright, let's store all this stuff in here. Uh, let's see. I'll take that. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll take like three of those. Alright. <laughs> We're going into Mount Freeze. Because again, I'm not doing the paths. I'm going straight forward. Yeah! To keep you alive. To keep you alive. 
I'll take the power band. And now we can move around the mountain. So for those who remember my run as a little um, penguin, which you very well might, uh, the hidden land is pretty far into Explorers of Sky's story, but it's also where Absol exists in that particular game and I was very happy to see Absol there because that's my that's one if not my favorite Pokemon, specifically because of the interaction where it saved me. Here. I got really into it as a little kid, so... Being saved meant a lot to me. Being believed in when everybody didn't believe in me was kick butt. Blast seed, which is good. Absol, how did you get all the way over there? Anyway. I'll probably have to fix your your AI. Yep. Alright, let's set you up correctly, Absol. Let's check your IQ. No, I think I don't have the correct IQ for you guys yet because I don't know how to get you to eat gummies. <sighs> it's just so silly. You'd think you guys would know how to do that by now. If I handed you one, but... That's not the case. But yes. Corner trapped him. Julian is king of levels. Nice. Could have used that in the Articuno fight, though. It's 
It's also funny that it, there's so many gummies here. I think that's really funny. I'm eating the gummies that I think my character would. Because I like all the red and green and stuff. Uh, it's just a patch of berry, we're fine. Snowing! It's time for the blue-green filter. Ooh, boy. This guy's hit hard. Leave them for Julian. Got it. He's tanking. Julian. Hit him. Could, I know you could. Goodness, Julian, you just wanted to watch our new new team member just go down? That's a little rude of you. Alright. On the road. Zangus. One day. I haven't replaced you, you know that, Julian. You're still the partner Pokemon. Still my partner, Pokemon. Try it. And technically, I have a Totodile. Just throw them at them? Would that work? Let's see. Oh, okay. It is that. And then I can go to team and like Julian and see his IQ and turn this on and like
Oh, that'd be great to do that. Just go into a really simple little dungeon like. Like tiny woods and just absolutely blast these guys with gummies. <laughs> I feel like you deserve one too, so... Now I can turn that on for you as well. Look at that. Excellent stuff here. Makes the AI... Crazy. Glad I got a bunch of blue gummies that'll help with uh, Julian. Uh, do I have anything? No, I don't. Oh! Nom. Nom that apple. This is one of the long dungeons, too, I think. Don't exactly remember how long. I just remember thinking it was long as a kid. Yeah, go, Nightshade! Alright, uh, what you get? You feel empowered to fight disasters? Uh, he's so good. I want you to know that as a kid I took all the time and effort to like, make sure that he was on my team every single time I went into a dungeon. Cause that mattered to me. Okay. I'm not scared of using secret power over and over and over again, dude. And you have returned! I finally figured out how to force feed gummies to people. They have to be holding something, and I have to hurl it at them at top speed. But now they both know how to check their power points on their moves. Ah. Well, this is a great thing to chillax to. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, like, I have a whole bunch of blue gummies from these ice type like locations so yeah I got a whole bunch of blue gummies so I plan on going to tiny woods with like my inventory full to bursting with gummies like this and go to both of these guys <laughs> until they get Intelligence. <laughs> I love how in the Pokemon universe, if you don't take your vitamins, if you don't eat your gummies, you're gonna you're gonna have terrible brains. Oh goodness! Again, again, Absol, you got lost again. I'm not that fast. <laughs> Basically, I'm doing it to them now because it's... Don't you dodge me! <laughs> Did you see that? He dodged me! 
Now I'll eat it, I guess, because I messed up the button pushes. <laughs> yeah, wait, gummy. Stab the glaily. Stab it again. Vanish. Yeah! Level 22! <laughs> There's so many Glalies. So many of these guys. Ah, yes. Glalie's always been like one of those weird designs for me, especially when you realize that the other half of that evolutionary tree is a uh, frost lass. So every frost lass has a Glalie as a boyfriend if they have a heterosexual relationship. Because that's how you get snow runs. And that's how you have to get snow runs. Basically. Ow. Sometimes I run into trouble, literally. Ha 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 ha. Ow. Yep, take him out. All right. Let's see. Are we there? Yeah, we're here! We finally made it! This is the peak, right? Where could Ninetales be? There they are! I've spotted seven! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, I see them! Alakazam! It's about time! We finally caught up to you! Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here! Pipe down, Tyranitar! We can final s finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Julian! <laughs> no cheaters allowed! Absol, you have to shave that side of your head. They'll think you used hair dye to write in the formulas. <laughs> Julian, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Seven. I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this too is fate. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm fully ready to punt this child off the mountain. <laughs> the role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will, we will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them. <laughs> Oh right, I forgot there was a Beyblades battle. <laughs> As we fling each other around. Cease this at once! The unfortunatest of sprites. What? His face! Ninetales! Uh, what? Ninetales? That's nine tails. The legend was real. Cease this fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. <laughs> Tell us, nine tails. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, before that, was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they consider my curse to be legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Yeah, peacefully. <laughs> Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that the human that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. 
It selflessly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then, the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon. Transformed into a Pokemon, the human, the human lives on. And that human would be... Who is this human that you speak of? Seven. You may relax, it is not you. Just now. What did you say? <laughs> Seven is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. But what? <laughs> Time for cry. Relief. What's wrong with me? I'm too tensed up to move. Uh, uh. Deep breaths. In, out. In, out. In, out. <sighs> oh, wow, awesome! That's great! I knew Seven wasn't the one. It's just as I thought. Seven wouldn't do anything like that. I have another thing to say. It's true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey, you lot! You were wrong! You doubted and hounded Seven! Uh, er, <laughs> we, uh, apologize. We're sorry, we got worked up by that Gengar. No. I suspected Gengar right from the start! Seven doesn't look like the treacherous type! <laughs> Says the man who was... I don't know how to show mercy. Not ten minutes ago. It'd be nice if I could believe that. But I must say, you are to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Seven. <laughs> Isn't this great? I was convinced I was right. Huh? But wait a second. Why did Seven become a Pokemon? I understand that Seven isn't the human that appeared in the legend. But then, why would Seven become a Pokemon? Seven, who are you? Oh, ah, the ground's heaving. Qu Quake! The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamities are worsening. And the shifting of the ground, it will awaken the beast that embodies the ground. The beast that slept deep underground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? Like I said, I get to fight him again. What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is a Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It's said to have taken sleep after catastrophic battles with its arch enemy, Kyogre. Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. So will we. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. I fought three legendary birds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you see him later as the illusion in Explorers of Time, Darkness, Sky. So it's just like, huh. Callback, boss. <laughs> I like how the earth is just still shaking. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done and we'll be back before you know it. Fine. We're off to Quell Groudon. And thus, oh yeah, <laughs> Alakazam's team made their way underground to quell the awakened Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Seven's team 
put an end to their long and arduous journey and returned to their welcoming rescue team base. Always save your adventure. So, I'll tell you that a couple of like the little qu like quests that I did after that, but for the most part, I never did anything after that in this game. So we'll get to see the end together. Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square. Kehe, <laughs> you lot. Why aren't you out there hunting at Seven's, down Seven's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. They say Seven's team has gone way far out there. If we went, the best we could hope for is maybe the Lapis Cave. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there, and that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Seven's team after that. But those fugitives, to think they would risk Mount Blaze? They've grown up tough! I can't keep up. <laughs> this is the man who got himself stuck by Zapdos. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> what a spineless lot you are. <laughs> You're so full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? You just hang around the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk. You guys go. We're out of that picture. <laughs> Our role is to receive word about Seven's demise. <laughs> you just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Metacham! What's the word? Seven! Seven is... Oh, finally! We're finally rid of Seven? <laughs> no! It's the opposite! Seven is back! <laughs> what did you say? Sup? <laughs> hey, over there! Seven! They're back. Hi, everyone! We're back! Whew! We finally made it back! We've been gone for so long! It's good to be back in the square again, Seven. Hey, Julian! Huh? Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. <laughs> What's with that smug confidence? Maybe... Gengar, you spewed all you spewed all sorts of trumped up garbage, didn't you? Seven has nothing to do with it. Seven was innocent. <laughs> what? Is that true? <laughs> you bet. We met Nine Tails, but found out Seven isn't the human from that legend. We came back when we found that out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you're gonna make that claim, let's see some proof. Proof? That's right, some hard evidence. Kick <laughs> Let's see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof. We don't have any proof. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so that we could get rid of you easier. How conveniently foolish. <laughs> now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of seven. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to be rid of seven? I always believed in seven. You don't fool me. Okay. I am out. I was saved by Seven's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging, but I simply can't think of Seven being bad in any way. <laughs> I've heard enough too. I believe Seven. Yeah, that's right. Who needs proof? Everyone. Extra, extra, read all about it.
What? What is this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it out loud. Let's see. Pokemon news. Extra! Seven innocent! Seven met with Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that it had nothing to do with the human in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. And... <laughs> you rotten! Uh, run! That's a dead end. Stop, you liar! You conned us! <laughs> Welcome back! Yep, it's good to be back. We're back, just like we promised. I'm so glad. Seven isn't suspected anymore. Yep, I'm glad too. <laughs> Who is writing the newspapers? Pelipper doesn't have hands. Pelipper also just wants to deliver them. It's obviously a Pokemon that's got some sort of farsight ability, so it's a psychic type, probably. Honestly, my brain just was like, let's say it's Deoxys, because because that's funny to me. <laughs> Deoxys is the newspaper man. Journal journalist. He wants those pictures of Spinner Egg Man on his desk now. <laughs> we won't have to keep running from everyone anymore. Alright, Seven. We're both worn out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Our rescue team is back in business tomorrow. Let's give it our best. <laughs> yeah, morning. Finally. <laughs> do 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 axis and spinnerack man. I only went with that because that one out of all of the spider Pokemon has the the closest name to spider in my opinion. <laughs> Plus I think Spinarak is cute, but then again I am a Johto child. That was my, my Pokemon region. Morning, Seven. Get a good night's sleep? Okay, we're back in the rescue team business. Yeah. We got a huge backlog of mail. I also can't wait to make this little house right here look like my face. Because that's one of the next subquests is to make this little wooden oven looking house right here into my face. Little cha Charmander face. Alright. We got all of these scary letters. Let's read it. <laughs> A letter from Pelipper. Yo! Amigo! It's awesome you're back! I'll be delivering mail to you again! I've been looking forward to this with my bill outstretched! I'll deliver tons of mail, so you better be ready, Amigo! The Wandering Postal Carrier. Pelipper. I did not know that Pelipper was, uh... Spanish speaking. <laughs> I expected this. I thought there had to be a mistake. I mean, look at you. You don't look like the sort who can be up to no good. I'll keep looking after your things, dear. You can always count on me. Oh, right now we're gonna s store everything. Nope. And we're gonna pop over to the bank, see if I actually have anything. I do apologize, how could run one run a bank without trusting clients? 
I promise to satisfy all your banking needs from now on. I hope you'll stay. Welcome, this is Felicity Bank. <laughs> I'm not leaving, I'm going next door. I believed in you, Seven, because you're my friend. Friends are treasures. <laughs> oh. I I still have everything? Okay. I I bought everything thinking that maybe I would uh But everything else is I believe gifted to you through the legendaries when you actually, you know, go and befriend the legendaries and what have you. Alright. Let's first do these three things, because they sell for a bunch of money. And I don't use these items in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I was convinced that Seven had to be the one. I am very ashamed that I treated such a valuable customer with such disdain and suspicion. It isn't just you, my brother. I am guilty of the same. Brother. <laughs> my brother. We both promise we will not repeat the same mistake. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. I hope for your continued patronage. Yeah. Alright, let's go get... All my gummies out of storage. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff to get. More blue gummies. Clear gummy. Do I have anything else? Ooh, cold. Shivery, shivery. On. And two. And three. There we go. Alright, let's go to the post office and see if there are any more Tiny Woods jobs, because I got one on my person right now. And if there are a couple more... No, those are Thunder Wave Cave. Alright, let's go to my job list. What do I see? I see two Tiny Woods. I see a Mount Steel, I see a Sinister Woods. Alright, we'll do those... The ones that I have that have duplicates first. So that I do not lose any money. I take... And I give to you, Persian. Maybe eventually I'll have... All the money that I need. But... Till then we go... Blah, 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 blah. Bro, you live in such a goth place. Wow, it's really close to home. And we'll go to Tiny Woods, because we got people there. All right, now if you will give me one moment. Oh, I see everybody still has their stuff. Okay, didn't realize that. All right, oh, didn't mean to eat it.
Now I just need to get more. Destination floor. Yeah, we're too strong for this dungeon. But it's better than our client, who's level one. Alright, do I just need to talk? Let's go find your friend. Hello, here's your friend. There you go, Tyro. Goodbye. This is an easy dungeon to complete. So we'll complete it. Whee! Completed. You're welcome, Pidgeotto. Yay, Reviver Seed. I love Reviver Seeds. Silver Gummy. Yep. Eventually we're gonna get... Yeah. I want to bring him with me, though. Because he's my friend. Do, 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 Yeah, good morning. Alright. Let's see. <gasps> okay, I'll accept that. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Look at the up. Date. D Deoxys, you're fantastic. She met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. The clearly dismayed Gengar's quote. <laughs> fantastic. Alright, who do we got next? I got nothing. Except, well, some of these are more difficult than others. Let's go see what the. The bulletin board in town has to say. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It says to do. I do not like those types. So it looks like today's is Thunder Wave Cave. Or rather, Silent Chasm. That's cute. Mm -hmm. uh, meter into Oddish. Be drilled a Wormpool. Your level C. So we'll delete this one. Just so that we can do take jobs. Get that whole thing. I'm that is my favored choice here. We're going to my friend. Oh yeah, duck, look at this. Isn't this familiar? 
to the one Pokemon Mystery Dungeon comic that you had me read too? I was wondering where they got some of those locations from and it looks like they may have just like snatched them from the old friend lands, which is cool. That's Rub-a-Dub River. Hey. Do you like brown flavor? <laughs> this is one you can obviously tell that I spent a lot of time in in my youth because I know the when the vocalizations start. <laughs> but yes, this is my first, the first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that I played. And... Wall. Not necessarily the favorite. Certainly is one of my like fond memories. <laughs> yeah, we gotta turn that one on immediately. For this one. If they're afraid or confused, they won't hurt me. No friend hurts. Which... You know, I didn't know it was an IQ thing until I learned it was an IQ thing. I would really love another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game for the Switch. I know I'm not the only one, but like... Gosh, that would be so cool. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX is just this game again with some quality of life improvements and some stuff that I didn't really appreciate. Oh yeah. I just... God, if even if it's like, not even a remake, but like, we just put the software on the Switch so that you can play it now on the Switch, that would make me explode. You know, big smiles. Nintendo can has my money. Alright, do I have any sort of anything to do? No, I don't have anything to help you. Let's see. I think it's back up here. Let's see. Ow. Polywog. You know what? Sure. Come on, Polywog. Hmm. 
They're Polly now. Let's see. Oop. Two water type friends. Let's see. Oh good, we finally started reaching destination floors. Let's see, I was about to like look at my mission objectives. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, one after the others. Let's see. friend area you belong to, Polly. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not good. If it's right there being like that, that's not good. <laughs> that was some cha cha slide. There's feel. Nope. Yep. We're going onwards, onwards and upwards. Oh dear. Thank goodness. An apple and some lunch money. So yes. I was vaguely talking about, um... One of the tabletop role-playing games that I have, which is, um... Called Americana, which is fun. Because it's a radically inclusive 1950s that never was. That is the tagline, that was the marketing point, but I have that because they made a Power Rangers spin-off of it as well as a bunch of like incredibly fun and diverse character choices for example I know Duck knows sign language because of reasons but uh, in this particular game one of the character races you can play is skeletons and they can only speak in sign language, which is always a fun little, like, inclusivity thing. And it's basically, the base game was Scooby-Doo murder mystery-esque stuff. You build your own town with your friends and then you also have them build their friend who at the very beginning of the game is found dead and then you have to figure out who done it with your group which yes skeleton Shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> but for me, once I got the art for the book, 
that's what killed me 100% because it was all sorts of beautiful cultural stuff in there per like races. This is the same group of people that made a like mini tabletop role playing game called like like orcs or goblins or something like that but in their universe lore orcs are the most prettiest of things in the entire world so if you're playing an orc character you are the most handsome in the room you are the most beautiful in the room you are the the, the most prettiest Yeah, go ahead, Seal. And so I'm thinking that as I'm getting more comfortable with the role playing and stuff with the group, that would be fun to do. That's sort of what I've been thinking about. We're getting there. But I know I sent you the PDF for it at one point, Duck, because I share my tabletop stuff with friends. And, like, I think it would be funny to do that for, like, a Halloween thing, but that's just me. <laughs> Ooh, it's night, cutscene time. This is how the dreams have been happening, by the way. This, that dream, again, it's been a while. You're Gardevoir. Yes, Gardevoir, there's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? Duck, the reason I was saying anything of that nature would be for tips because I would run it and you would play. Because it's my book and therefore I can have it open in front of me referencing the rules and stuff. But I believe the literal first run in the, like, the first session is you have to build the town with your group. But I gotta figure out tabletop elements, so because I don't know how to play because I've never played it. <laughs> yeah, so you could be Skelesign. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits? You got it. I absolutely will. Because a fun murder mystery would be Hilarious and wonderful, I think. Especially since the group of friends that goes and hunts down the murderer doesn't have to be friends before that. You just were all friends with the same person who died. And the literal mechanic of that is called your dead friend. And they let you do fun stuff with that. Like, if it's story-wise, they were the ones who taught me how to pick locks, by the way. <laughs> It's so good, it sounds so fun. As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes, I fell under the curse of Ninetales in the place of a trainer and became a presence without a physical form like this. Trainer? <laughs> yeah, it's super story driven and it makes me like which is why I got it in the first place as well as the the Power Ranger version that that uh, red looking ranger getting struck by lightning that's me <laughs> I got art in there and that's me the dragon ranger with getting struck by lightning is me You mean the human that was in the legend about Ninetales? It's 
awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes, my trainer was a terrible person. Mean and conniving, my trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But I don't hate my trainer. Huh? Don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. Was your trainer a Team Rocket guy? My trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened, you mean Ninetales Curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We guard Avara that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I've taken. I live on this way with the pride in the role that I have been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role. They all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play. You too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Ah! Earthquake! No, wait! I need to know more! Woken up by an earthquake. Ahem. <clears throat> of course, immediately that goes, That's great! It starts with an earthquake. Birds, snakes, airplanes. There was an earthquake, wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it. She did say something. <laughs> you, you just <laughs> had me do this. You don't need to do this again. <laughs> Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. What did she mean by that? All right. Good morning, Seven. Huh? What's up? Something wrong? Oh, right. That earthquake earlier. Seven, you're worried the same way I am. I should have known. Alakazam's team hasn't come back yet. And they say Groudon is wickedly strong. So yeah, it's a bit worrying. But then again, Alakazam's bunch is tough, too. They should be okay. Well, we did leave Groudon up to Alakazam, so we can't do much of anything but wait for them to come back. We've got to do what we can do. So let's give our best for our rescue team. All right, let's go see what, uh, uh um. Um, I'm why not, and this is Wah Buffett. We have a notice on the bulletin board outside of Pelipper Post Office. Wabafet! Please look at it for me, please, please! Wabafet! Please help me. I have to go now. Wabafet! What was that just now? That little Pokemon. What was the boy called? Why not? He said he wanted us to check the bulletin board at the Pelipper Post Office. Maybe those two have a problem or something? And they put up a rescue job notice on the bulletin board? It's only one way to find out. Let's go! I have too much money, Persian. And almost nothing to use it on. Oop, here we are. There was a job on the bulletin board that said punish bad manky. Did you put that job up? Yep, yep. Baba Fett. A bad manky gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. Baba Fett. We don't know why they rampage around. 
but they're always angry and attack anyone they see. Wobbuffet! Hmm, that is a problem. Seven, we should go. Thank you, we're counting on you. Wobbuffet! Uproar forest! Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. I know what lies in uproar forest. Uproar forest. Come on. We're gonna go to Uproar Forest. And we're gonna get started. Yeah, I know you are, buddy. Alright, welcome to Uproar Forest. This quest gave me such frustration as a small child. I didn't know you were supposed to come back again and again and again and again. Because you did, you had to basically hope that you got the correct number of Well, spiky chestnuts, basically. Otherwise, you'd have some left over, or you wouldn't have enough for them to finish the construction. And you'd have to do stuff. Like... Hope you didn't have that many more to go. Don't like A-Poms. They got freaky little faces. Oh no, you made it so that my partner is stronger. What will we do? Anyway. We only go for about two hours, and we're getting close to that now. It's not the time yet. It's just a warning. Because I'm like that. We'll do this one, too, because I don't know if you'd like it or not. But I know. That's not fair. Julian. Man, you're just leaving us high and dry, bud.
Because I know you can hit, like, further away than that. I know you have a two-level move, because you have Water Gun. I'm gonna eat it. Cause I haven't come across any red or fiery gummies lately. Let's see. Just not being able to pick things up for whatever reason. Yeah, go nightshade. Fight those natural disasters. Can join C dot. Mm -hmm. That'll be funny if their name is Acorn, even when they're Shiftry. Ow. Catch on fire. Let's see. Mainly because I don't really use orbs ever. Apples are useful. Oh, I know. There you go, Acorn. Now we can pick that up. Aha. Intelligence. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Nuzzly. Rawest berries. Just like in the actual Pokemon game, my Pokemon are stacked with fight moves. Moves for punching. Acorn. 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 Well, luckily, Acorn has got good health, anyway. A good health item. Goodness gracious, Acorn. What did you do?
Love rushing around. There we go. You see that? That's the thing. You'll never see this item after this game, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, leveled up. This is the chestnut. It's what we need to make these guys build our house. Huh? What is it, you? We don't like to brag or nothing, but we get real furious easily. You know that? What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted faces. Ah, that vacant expression. Ah, it's ticking me off. I'm seeing red. Ah, monkeys! Get him! It's frenzy time! <coughs> yeah, they, they said that. Go, Julian. Go, Julian. Go, Julian. Go, Julian. Go, Julian. Go, Julian. These guys are so easy, too. It's funny. <laughs> Just like we promised, we punished that gang of Mankey. I'm hoping that they'll smarten up and settle down. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. Wah, Buffet! Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. A peeled chestnut as their reward. This a peeled chestnut? Yes, it's a peeled chestnut. You see, we... We don't have any money. Wobbuffet! So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? Uh, no, no. We're okay with this. Peeled chestnuts are delicious. I like them. <laughs> I wish we did get some money. Hey, you! Ah, no, the Mankey gang. Wabafet? Did those goons, did they follow us here for revenge? That's right, you! You got lucky, you don't mess with us! We're not gonna lose this time, we'll pulverize you! Monkey, crush them! Oh, look at that. Chestnut! It is, it's a peeled chestnut. Oh, what? <laughs> What's going on? They look like they're having a discussion. Boba Fett! What's this all about? Oh, uh, listen. You got something we want? That peeled chestnut you have? Can we have it? We, uh, love peeled chestnuts. <laughs> Like, we love them so much, we can't think of a life without peeled chestnuts. Why don't you just go get chestnuts on your own? You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell, it hurts. And we end up losing our tempers! That's why we're asking, give us that peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want! Hmm. Seven, what do you think? Should we give our- Yeah, just- Yeah. I know! Hey, Mankey Gang, how are you guys with physical labor? Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles, but we don't like work. But if it's for that peeled chestnut... Okay, then this is what we'll do. We're aiming to rebuild our rescue team base, so it'll be more impressive than this. Rescue team base? You got it. Our rescue team base. If you'd help us build our rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. What do you say? <laughs> okay, we'll help. Really? You'll help us? Yeah, leave it to us! We'll carry the materials and get the place built. Double quick! And in return, hand over that peeled chestnut. Me too! I'll help too! I'll spit silk for gluing things together! I'm a fire type! <laughs> I'll help too! Wobbuffet! I feel bad because we only had a chestnut for your reward. Wobbuffet! Thanks, everyone. Okay, let's get a move on. Okay. Okay. 
Does Maggie stop halfway through, basically? <laughs> Toothy Ma's rescue team base. <laughs> Phew! Our base is coming along quickly. Wabafet! We owe everyone for this. Wabafet! But there's still lots to do. We still have difficult things to do. Wabafet! Yeah, but we're getting close, right, Mankey Gang? Huh? Again. Look, over there! What's up with you guys? We need to keep working. Don't wanna. What? This work's too boring. How do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't want to do this anymore. We might change our minds if you get us more peeled chestnuts. What is with these guys? We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. Problem, Seven. It looks like the Mankey Gang won't work unless we get them another peeled chestnut. Guess we have to find more peeled chestnuts and give them to the Mankey Gang. I have a chestnut on me. Let's see. <laughs> they turned off my fireplaces. <laughs> Good morning, Seven. So basically, this is the other sub quest that I finished. It's gonna turn Team Toothy Ma into. You know, I absolutely will. I have. A chestnut on me. See, and then I go over here and I go. <laughs> yes, a peeled chestnut! <laughs> and then there's another quick skip you basically have to do this like four times before it's done but yes I pay my workers in everything that I have but I also go out and I grab the money and I do the rescue team stuff from like news extra let's read Quote from Charizard on the scene from Seven Innocent. That's what I thought right from the start. Ha 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 ha. Quote from Tyranitar on the scheme. That muckraking Gengar. He's not getting away with this. He better be ready for it. Yes. But that's about two hours. So in order for everything to be hunky-dory... We'll have to wait and see what this... We'll have to wait on finishing the rescue team base and supplying them with more of their wages tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but next Sunday. Alright. I hope you all had a wonderful time. I'm glad you decided to show up and have fun with me. If you like what I do and you want to support me, consider giving me a follow. If you got spare money to throw, you can toss it at my Kofi. That'll help me get a better computer for streaming, more stuff, and perhaps a VTuber. Um, if you don't have money to throw, but you still want to support me and you've already followed, consider popping on over to my YouTube channel where all the stream archives exist. Feeding the algorithm over there means maybe more people will see me. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or wherever you are in this fine world, and I will see you next Saturday for more Minecraft. Until then, bye bye